What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, guys, Brittany Griner is trending right now because of a series of questions that she was asked. And she was confronted by YouTuber Alex Stein at the Dallas Fort Worth airport. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to play that video and then I'm going to come back and talk about it. BG, was that, was that a fair trade for the merchant of death? I know you kill it on the court, but he kills it in real life. Is it true you'd have sex with Vladimir Putin to get released from Russia, Britt? Get out of the way, dog. Britt. Get out of the way. Britt, is it true you had to... Get out of the way. What about his wife? What are you doing? I'm trying to talk to Brittany. Hey, Britt. Do you still want to... Do you still want to boycott America, Brittany? Stop. Get out of me. Stop. Stop. I'm weird. Why? She hates America. What about the merchant of death, Britt? Get off me. Get off me. Was that a fair trade for the merchant of death? I know you killed it on the court. You killed it in real life. Is it true you have sex with Vladimir Putin? What are you doing? Get released from Russia, Britt? Britt! Britt! Why are you being like that? Dude, I want to talk to Britt. Britt, are you scared to talk to me? Britt, you're scared. Have a good day. The merchant of death, Britt. Have a good day. You should be ashamed of yourself. Get off me. Get off me. Britt. Britt, do you hate America? Britt. Britt, was it a fair trade for the merchant of death? Britt, was it a fair trade? Brittany, done. Was it a fair trade? Why are you grabbing me? Because you're running up. I want to talk like to. That. I want to talk to the famous you, athlete. You talk to me. How about that? Okay. Well, do you do you like protecting her, even though she hates our country? I do what I need to. Well, do you think that she? Have a good day. Did you hear that she had sex with Vladimir Putin? Have a good day. So, let me let me just say this. She she is being um, harassed. And, uh, you know, he's asking her some stupid stuff like, did you have sex with Vladimir Putin and things like that? But this is very similar to what happens with TMZ. Okay. TMZ, they, they do the same things. And, um, he's asking her the main question is, do you still want to boycott America? After Brittany Griner said a lot of things about America uh, that were pejorative. Okay, let's let's talk about for what it is pejorative things. Do you want to boycott America? Okay. After we had to swap. The merchant of death, the arms dealer for you. In other words, you don't appreciate the country that you come from. But in your times of need, there you were begging. And of course, now that WNBA, they're going to have more stricter uh, security for this. Um... And, and, and again, I wouldn't do anything like that. It is, it, it is quite sickening to a certain degree on one end, right? To go in there and ask her, were you having sex with Vladimir Putin and all of it? Like that's uncalled for. But the question that he's dealing with, I think it's, it's fair. The question is, do you still want to boycott America after seeing what you're saying? Again, I would never do nothing like that. But we all know that she was totally anti-Trump. You know, at one point anti-America. And then on the uh, on, on the other end, if, if guys didn't want to come get you in America, then you were complaining, please, please come get me. Please, please come get me. And this is, this is why we got to be careful for what we say. And let me just say this. I think that, you know, a, a lot of this is um, <laughs> the way they're covering this. And, and shout out to the guy Mark Dice, right? 
By the media coverage of this event, you would think someone is trying to kill Brittany Griner. All the guy is doing is asking her a question. So now you see the NBA saying, hey, we're going to um, be protective of these ladies. Oh, my God, he harassed her. And again, now you're starting to see, okay, now you're, you know, you're here's a guy that is um, bothering women. We know what her sexuality is in that protection. And, you know, the liberal media is coming back and, 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 and really putting it on this guy. For whatever the reason is, and I understand it. But the situation is this. You know, you were talking all that trash about this country. How do you feel? Do you still want to boycott the United States? She didn't answer the question. She does know how to answer the question about trans men being allowed to play in sports, though, right? I mean, like, that's something that she can answer. This question, she, for whatever reason, cannot answer. And um, she she also said, remember, in 2020, um, because of the, this is the whole thing that got her in, in the situation that he's talking about. She stopped standing for the national anthem, okay, in 2020, following George um, Floyd's murder. All right? And, um, again, I don't know what that had to do with the NBA because... Again, I don't understand why these people, you, you know, you grew up in America. Let's just say this for example, right? I'm living in Uganda right now. As many problems as, as, as their ancestors have had in America. America is a great country overall with as many problems and evils within the society. Okay. And I don't know why people... D -d decide like hey let me boycott the same things that are helping me on the olympic teams my passport my I income and all of this I, I don't get it and again i would not do this but she changed that and, and to be honest um, she's standing for the flag now, obviously. But again, again, the, you know, this, this, this guy is, this guy is weird. Okay. But the question he's dealing with, do you still want to boycott America? Hey, I think that, Hey, whenever you have something on social media that you got to defend, they don't let you do you know, like a lot of people, right? You can say something 15 years ago, it comes back out. They're going to ask you about the, that, what you did 15 years ago, and you still have to chest for it. But again, they're trying to make this guy out to be everything but a child of God, which he is dumb. But I got to say, it's a great question to ask. This country is one of the reasons why. It's the only reason why you're not still there. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Put your father, you describe it to Bill. We're out.